Hello, welcome back on lesson 32. So we're going to go for the time vocabulary. Um, I'm going to say all of them, well not all of them, the main ones, and it's good for you to repeat them. So let's go. After, afternoon, afterwards, alarm clock, a.m., bedtime, before, century, day, Daylight, twilight, tonight, today, tomorrow, timer, timetable, sunrise, sunset, morning, evening, sometime, soon, stopwatch, everyday, second, yesterday, delay, daytime, Present, past, p.m., noon, now, night, night time, moment, minute, midnight, early. Okay. Uh, and then on time as well, for example, um, in English, we use the, uh, the number quarter. So just like mathematics, easy mathematics. We have uh, a quarter, two, three, and four. So remember, you know, remember the little pizza. So we have 15 minutes, that's a quarter, and then we have half an hour, and then we have quarter two. So when 15 minutes has gone, so let's say it's 1.15, okay, in the afternoon, 1.15, we would say quarter past 15. So past is when it's past, the minutes okay and then when you get to the middle which is six we have half an hour left we say half okay so it's um, half past half past one okay because past it has passed but when it's uh, going to go for the next hour so it's going for 2 2 p.m. Uh, let's say we have uh, 15 minutes to 2 p.m. So instead of saying 15 to, we would say quarter to, quarter to two, quarter to three, quarter to four. It means you have 30, uh, sorry, you have 15 more minutes until that hour finishes. Okay, so we could say every, you know, every minute uh, before uh, the half hour is passed and every minute after that half hour is two. So let's say it's 10, one ten, uh, one five. So it'd be five past one. Okay, it's always backwards. So go back and then go forward. Uh, five past one, 10 past one, quarter past one, 20 past one, 25 past one, half past, half past one. And then you can go uh, 22, two, uh, 20, uh, 22, two. Uh, quarter to two, okay, ten to two, or let's go for you know another number three. So uh, twenty to three, quarter to three, ten to three, uh, five to three. Okay, very easy, not very difficult. So in the morning we say a.m. and then in the afternoon we say p.m. So a.m. if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's antes mornings pm is yeah antes uh, mediodía so antes at mediodía even in latin if i'm not mistaken so antes mediodía so that's before midday uh, am a that's what it stands for antes and m for midday mediodía and then after midday is pause uh may gm so uh, after midday okay that's pm so am uh, is before midday and pm is after midday okay and then we use o'clock o'clock is a specific moment a specific time so seven o'clock means seven zero zero seven o'clock eight o'clock we don't say eight o'clock pm eight o'clock am no seven o'clock eight o'clock all right, so a specific moment. And when it's in the middle, like midday, we say midday, noon, or we could say midnight, okay? Great, and then we have the prepositions in. Uh, so in, 
uh, we can use it for uh, longer periods of time. So we can say, for example, uh, in the summer, in 2014, in 1960s, uh, in the past, in the Middle Ages, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evenings, okay, in a week, in a few minutes, in six months, in a moment. On, we use it for days and dates. So on Wednesdays, on 8th May, uh, on Christmas Day, on Sunday morning, on Friday afternoon, on Monday evenings. At, we use it for a specific moment or a specific time of the day. So we'd say at 4 o'clock, at 12.30, at noon, at dinner time, at dawn, at dusk, at night, at the weekend, at Christmas, uh, at the present moment. Uh, at the same time, so we use at for specific uh, moment, okay, for a specific time period. Okay, next lesson we're going to be studying uh, lesson 33 on pronouns revision. So this is fun, okay? So I'll see you soon. Bye.